Hi all of you. So last class we had started with the chapter. What was the name of the chapter? Yes, it was wonderful waste. So first part of the chapter we have already covered. Am I right? So today we are going to study the remaining part of the chapter and we are going to just in short discuss about the grammar portion also related to that. Okay. So last time we had studied. What we had studied? Though we had discussed the full lesson in the online class, in the video I had discussed only the half part of the lesson. Correct? But we have studied the lesson in the full, uh, we, full online class. So what was the lesson actually? Actually it was a very good story. In that story, what was the story? So in that story, the king of Pramgur, king, which king Maharaja, okay? Maharaja of Travancore, he had decided to organize a big dinner. Okay. And during that dinner, he decided to prepare a big feast of many, many food items. Correct? So, what happened before the dinner? The king is going to the kitchen to see what kind of food items that the cook has prepared. So the cook had prepared many food items and the king found that there was a bucket full of waste vegetable pieces. Correct? So he immediately ordered the cook that if you throw this waste, I will punish you. Or the king commanded. He has studied the word commanded. Correct? So what do you mean by command? To give order to someone. So if the the king is commanding the cook that if he throws the waste, then the king will cut off the head. Maybe the king will cut, cut off the head. So the cook is very afraid. So the cook is in a fix. So what condition of the cook is in a fix? Okay. Now we are going to uh, read the rest part of the story and we are going to understand this story. Okay. So let us see. An idea flashed across his mind. So across the mind of the cook, there is a very good idea. What is the idea? He took all the vegetable bits, washed them and cleaned them well. So what did the cook do? He took all the vegetable pieces. He washed them and he cleaned all of them well. Then he cut them into long strips. Strip means long, long strip pieces. He cut thin pieces. He put them in a huge pot and placed it on the fire to cook. So what did the cook do? He cut the pieces into long strip and he put them in a huge pot and then he put placed the pot on the fire for cooking. Next what he did? Next, he ground some fresh coconut, green chilies, and garlic together. So he's grinding all this together. He added this paste and some salt to the cooking vegetables. A tempting smell started coming from the pot. Now he whipped some curd and added it to the curry. He also poured a few spoonfuls of coconut oil and decorated the dish with curry leaves. Lo and behold, lo and behold means what? In a surprise, the new dish was ready. The cook served this new dish to the guests that evening. So the cook is serving, cook is serving this new dish to all the guests in the evening. Everyone was eager to know the name of the new dish. Everyone asked him, what is the name of the new dish? What is the name of the new dish? So what the cook said, the cook thought and thought. Then a name came to his mind. He named it Aviel. What is the name? Aviel. Aviel became famous all over Kerala and is now one of the dishes in a traditional Kerala feast. And imagine, it all came from a basket of waste. So, this is a story how the smart cook, he made a new delicious food item from the waste material isn't waste wonderful yes of course we of course we can make it wonderful 
if we are using it in a very nice way correct similarly what you have to do in your house also you should take care in your school also you should take care that you don't waste anything you should not tear the pages and throw them is it correct way no try to re reuse it try to use it again and again so let us now just write some of the meanings okay i will write them on the board you have to take it down in your notebook and you have to write each meaning two times how many times two times these are the meanings for new words okay so new words and meanings Let us see the first new word. Scraps. Scraps means what? Waste. Okay. Then what? Sturdy. Commanded. Commanded means order. Okay, then third one, sternly. Sternly means what? Strictly. Staring. Looking continuously. Looking surprise. So scraps. What are scraps? These are the waste pieces. Correct? Commander means what? Order. Sternly means strictly. How we can use this word? Scraps. There are many scrap materials in our waste. Correct? Uh, in our house. Correct? We don't want them. Scraps. They are scraps. We throw them. We throw away the scraps from our house. So you can make a sentence like many ways. They are scrap. We throw the scrap out of our house. Commanded. Ordered. A superior authority. He orders. The Prime Minister of India commanded. Correct? Or the King commanded. So like that we can say. Next. Sternly. Sternly means what? Strictly. Okay. He, he, is, uh, he was looking at him very sternly. Very strictly. Yeah, as if he is going to kill him. Staring. Looking continuously. And lo and behold. Looking surprised. Okay. So please write the meanings for these words. Next all of you. What were the preparations in the palace for? Look at the first question. What is the first question? The first question is, what were the preparations in the palace for? Okay. This photo, this I will send you through WhatsApp, this question. And so I will only write the answers on the book. What were the preparations in the palace for? So most of you know the answer. Please tell me the answer. What were the preparations in the palace for? For the dinner. For what? For a grand dinner. So the king was going to organize a grand dinner. Okay. So the preparations were for a grand dinner. Okay. Answer 2. Why did the Maharaja go into the kitchen in the afternoon? So, why did the Maharaja go into the kitchen in the afternoon? To see what the cook had prepared. To see what the cook had prepared. Then, what had the cook planned to do with 
eating the vegetable scraps. The cook had planned to. The cook had planned to. The vegetable scraps. Okay, so this is what they have prepared. Now, ingredients are the things that are used to make a dish. You have to circle the ingredients of avial in the box below. So, look in your textbook. When you see in your textbook, you can see okay some of the ingredients these ingredients you have to circle which ingredient we have to use for making avial which are the ingredients chilies coconut garlic okay then what else is there curd then vegetable scraps and curry leaves okay these are the ingredients that we are using to prepare the avial now state whether true or false the king had ordered a dinner in the palace. Yes, it's true. No one had heard or tasted avial before. True, no one had tasted and heard about avial before. Correct? So when the cook made it, it was a new dish. Then he given the name avial to this dish. The cook had planned to make another dish using the vegetable scraps. False. He made only one dish. He had only a small idea. Now, a recipe is a list of direction to prepare a dish. Okay. The following sentences are not in order for preparing a wheel. Number them in the correct order. You have to give this number in the correct order. That work, you have to do it on your own. Okay. And before the online class, you uh, give the number and then in the online class, we will further discuss related to this and we will uh, discuss to other grammar works also. Okay. Thank you.